Jeffrey is the biggest WWE fan. So when I went down the rabbit hole and discovered my next guest on YouTube, I had to have them on the show. Now they are married, incredible athletes, and they're making history in the world of wrestling. Please welcome WWE superstars, Bianca Belair and Montez Ford. <laughs> Look at you, but y'all are the most beautiful WWE couple. <laughs> I just have to say that. Thank you. Oh my, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day. Day. This is so good. Oh yeah, put the, ooh, look at this belt right, right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so tell me something. What are you doing tonight for Valentine's Day or today? Um, so I would say, but I would unleash all the plans. Oh. And she knows that I'm not really good with secrets as it is. He cannot keep a secret. No, I can't. I almost Save actually spoiled it earlier anyway. Really? Yeah. Right over here. So yeah. is, it's in the vein of is it going to be something big or, and like spectacular or well. romantic and small? <laughs> well, I know I, I got his tickets to go see a Broadway play. OK. Uh, so we're going to spend Valentine's Day for the first time in New York. We love being in New York because a lot of our we love New York. Um, a lot of our wrestling fans are in New York, so right. we're gonna have a, a great time tonight in New York. First time for Valentine's Day. Okay, this sounds so good. Now, Montez, you go big on surprise celebrations for Bianca. They told me you just got her a boat for her birthday. You got her a boat? You got your wife a boat? A boat. Oh my goodness, this is her going to the boat. <laughs> this is a boat. What, um, what had happened there? So what had happened was... Uh, <laughs> Look! Oh, uh, man. So, <laughs> so I remember uh, when we first uh, start dating, yeah. going out and pretty much establishing ourselves, we took a family trip down to her parents. Right. And uh, her dad took us out on their boat. Okay. And I remember she going like, oh my gosh, I love this boat so much, and talks about it all the time. I'm like, oh, she really wants a boat. So <laughs> I planned for it. I planned for it pretty much for the next four years and then oh. got our boat for a birthday. See, that's a yeah. Valentine's and a birthday <laughs> gift. <laughs> I'm over here talking about tennis bracelets. Ladies, tell your man you want a boat. <laughs> but plan. But plan. Plan. <laughs> plan it. <laughs> I love it. You know, you two are so wonderful together, but you, you both met at the beginning stages mm -hmm. of your career, yes? Okay, so out of both y'all, who made the first move? Was it you, Montez? It was actually my wife. Really? Yes. I made the first move. You did? <laughs> I did. Yeah. Why did you have to make the first move? You know, I've never, that was my first time ever like going after a guy, but yeah. my very first time seeing him, I told my friend, I was like, keep him away from me. That is a beautiful man. Yes. Uh, and we happened to be out at the same time that yes. night and I went after him. <laughs> And I was flirting and flirting and flirting, and he just was like not paying me any mind. And then finally, he looked at me. He was like, "I like your makeup." <laughs> what? Yeah, why did, I was like, "Why did you say that?" He was like, "I don't know. I was nervous." Oh. Uh, but yeah, I made the first move, and then then I accidentally gave him the wrong phone number. No, okay. <laughs> how did you make the first move? With, before we even get the phone, how did you feel with with uh, Bianca making the first move, Montez? I didn't mind, and some moves just have to be made, you know. Okay. Uh, you just gotta. <laughs> You just gotta roll with you just gotta roll with the punches. Uh, but also I was being respectful because like I was seeing like some signs, but I was like, I'm not sure. Like, is she with it or not? So I'm trying to be respectful and then like, you know, that final move was made and But then she gave you the wrong phone number. She did, but uh, you know, we were a little busy that night and <laughs> We were entertained. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and uh, it, it happened. But she missed it by one number, and the next day we was both very, very, very sad because, like, I was texting her and I didn't get a reply. I was like, and I was texting him, like, why is he not texting is me he back? back? Texting back. Yeah. And then one of my buddies I was riding with, he was like, hey, uh, Bianca's texting me saying she left her charger in your car. And I'm like, so she can text you, but she can't text me? <laughs> and then, 
I checked his number and literally it was a three missing instead of a six. So that was the one number that was getting thrown off. Oh, but y'all made it back together. Yeah. Now we're married. You're married. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Nothing wrong with making it a three instead of a six sometimes. Yeah, I know. So I love this because now you're bringing your 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 love to reality TV, which is I love this. Now you start uh, you have you started filming your new show. We did. We uh, actually uh, last week we did three days of filming. So okay. We do raw on Mondays, fly home Tuesday. We get a little time to like get ourselves together, check the mail, pay them bills. Pay the bill. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we filmed. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, and then you gotta pay that boat bill. Yes. Yeah. yeah, which actually, uh, but yeah. So uh, we uh, film Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then get back on the road for the live shows on the weekends. So what can we expect from a reality show from both of you? We're gonna just, you know, peel the curtain back a little bit. Everybody gets to see who we are in the, the WWE ring. Uh, so we're gonna show who, who we are at home, show our family dynamic. We have a very supportive family with our, with our parents. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom always asks me like, when are you gonna have a baby? And you know, them supporting oh, us at all of our shows and just our home dynamic. And, we're just two, like, this is my homie, my lover, my best friend. We get to travel together, work together, and live together. So. Yes. And it really does take a village. I know it takes a village. It, you know, it's so funny watching the WWE because most people have storylines about their marriage or they, you know, they're together in the ring. You both say it's important to keep your marriage, your relationship out of the ring. Now, why is that? I just feel like we both have enough talent and you know <laughs> and he has he can have his own light i can have my own light and we can both just go out there and support each other and to like you know sometimes i feel like you know you go out there and you put your marriage in a storyline and then it's like me having to fight another girl for my man i'm like listen i don't have to fight for what's mine okay <laughs> uh, <laughs> But, you know, just we have to keep it separate and, and keep our marriage sacred and have something right. for ourselves. But, you know, right now, you know, he's about to have his solo debut at Elimination Chamber, and I'm just happy to be there to support him and he can support me. Yes, and I, I love this. And, and let's talk about your career because, Bianca, congratulations, because you are the first black female <laughs> match at WrestleMania. <laughs> and, yes. And you are the you are the longest reigning black world champion. Woo! So, girl, look at this. How does it feel as you whipping your hair back and forth to make history like this? How does that feel? It feels good. No, but honestly, you know, I, I I made a lot of history. But honestly, I was just going out there, just trying to accomplish my goals and my dreams. Look, this man and, loves you. He loves his wife. Look at this. Loves me. I love him. <laughs> uh, but you know. <laughs> But I was just going out there trying to accomplish my goals and my dreams. Yes. And I made history, so I just want that to be inspiration for other people. Just, you have to go to history, history books to find history. You can be history. Just go after your goals and your dreams. But That's it. It's amazing. And Montel's your lovely wife. I wish a man would put my wig in his mouth. <laughs> yes. You know what's going to happen. Oh, my gosh. But Montel, Montel, excuse me, you are part of the tag team Street Profits. Yes, ma'am. And we had your cup. John had your cup. Yes. So this weekend, I'm very excited, Montez, because you are making, like your wife said, your solo debut. Yes, ma'am. How you feeling? Is you up there by yourself now? Yes, ma'am. I'm ready. I've been okay. watching this as a child ever since I can remember. The very first person I laid hands on or eyes on was the Godfather. And uh, I saw him walk out with his entourage. Yeah. And the one that really, really honed me in was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Okay, uh, yes. He uh he uh he brought me through uh I love that, man. He, uh, <laughs> he brought me through a lot of things in life. I lost my sister when I was 10 years old, okay. and I was going through a lot of things at a very young age. And Rock was the one that kind of honed me and right. you know, pretty much motivated me, you know, from my where he head. was. Yeah, so. I'm excited to see you by yourself. That's just like a whole new level, you know? That's like, okay, you a few steps from the rock, sir. <laughs> All right. I just, it's just been so nice. I, I am so excited that you all said yes to coming here, and I want you to come back. Oh, no. <laughs> and I just got, you, can I just say, girl, you so strong. Can I just say, your man is so fine. <laughs> I don't care what he do. No okay. disrespect, girl. Okay, I'm live on that. I believe it. Mr. Mon 
one chance. But your wife is so gall beautiful. Are you having, your your wife is so beautiful. Oh, okay. This one right here. <laughs> Don't even sleep on it. I mean, we had sleep on it, but oh my goodness. We're gonna have a good time.